what's up guys what's going on um okay so there is a comment that uh was in one of the videos this morning and i wanted to address it because i mean i thought about it most of the day and uh yeah i mean you know it's it's a valid thing to to kind of talk about so we're going to talk about it a little bit you know the comment said um there's a lot of people i'm seeing a lot of people that are getting out of the market because um there's it's always something right there always seems to be something that comes along that you know causes a, causes us to go down when we're just about to go up right kind of thing right it's always something it's always something so i said uh i you know i see a lot of people are exiting the market because of it they're like screw it screw crypto it's always something right so my thoughts on this are that um you're right you're absolutely right you're absolutely right uh not to get out of the market but you're absolutely right that there does it can feel like it's always something we get past one thing and we're ready to go and then something else comes along right i get it i get it and it's true it's absolutely true but here's the flip side of that that's the market man it's always been that way it's always going to be that way right that right there that is the reason that not only myself but a lot of other people who have been in crypto for two three cycles now um are able to tell you most people are not strong enough for the market they're not strong enough and this is exactly what we mean by it this is what we mean by it guys right those people who are leaving the market because it's always something are going to be exit liquidity for everybody else that's what you don't understand when you don't zoom out you have to understand that those people that are doing that are falling into the same trap that a lot of people fall for every cycle new people fall for it every single time right those are the people who get wrecked in a cycle because here's what happens Oh, it's always something. I'm leaving the market. I'm leaving. I'm they they leave at a loss or something like that, or barely up at all. And they're like, I'm leaving. This is this is BS. It's never gonna go. It's always something. It's always something that comes along, some macroeconomic thing that screws the whole market and we go down, right? Well, guess what happens to those people? The rest of us, we stick it out, we dollar cost average, and we huddle, right? And we accumulate. And then all of a sudden the market goes parabolic and all of those people who exited the market because it's always something start coming rushing flooding right back into the market again buying the tops of everything because they think it's going to the moon and then those of us who have been dollar cost averaging and hodling and, and accumulating and being patient use them as exit liquidity we dump our bags on them they buy the top we get out with our money they get wrecked because they didn't have the patience to stick through the market they thought that they could i'll just leave till things start going parabolic and then i'll come back doesn't work that way in for a penny in for a pound that's that's how it works guys right and the people who continue to exit the market because it's always something or they don't have that that key ingredient which is patience they end up being exit liquidity because i promise you right now if you're emotional enough to get affected by uh you know by the market going sideways and not having patience right that that's fear uncertainty and doubt right so you're uncertain and you're doubtful so you exit the market right well, those same people who are so vastly affected by that emotion are also vastly affected by FOMO. And as soon as they see that the, the market's going parabolic, again, they jump right back in again. But this time, instead of buying the bottoms, the dips, and getting in low, now they're buying green candles. Then they get destroyed, and then they go right back to their to their you know their go to defense. Oh, crypto is a scam. I lost everything. I lost that. You know, I yeah. It has nothing to do with the fact that they they didn't have the patience 
to follow the market structure and learn the market structure and buy the bottoms and sell the tops, that can't have anything to do with it. It's not because they made mistakes. It's because the market's a scam, right? That's lazy, guys. That's lazy, 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 right? And I say this, the reason, the point of the video is not to attack anyone or anything like that. I'm trying to help you guys understand because there's so many people, no matter how many times I tell them, listen, there is one fundamental attribute that every single successful person in the digital asset space investing into crypto has in common. One attribute. Can you guess what it is? Patience. We have patience. Most people don't have patience, right? And as much as you're tired of hearing it, I'm tired of saying it. But the message very clearly for some people doesn't get through to them, right? They have a piss poor attitude. And they're like, it's always something. Oh, poor me. Poor, poor me. The market's not doing what I want it to do when I want it to do it. So I'm a victim. Crypto's a scam. You got to learn the market, man. You have to learn. You're being manipulated in exactly the way that the market is designed to manipulate you. And you don't even see it, right? I'm, I'm pointing it out to you. And you're still going to be ignorant to it. You're still going to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fine at the end of the day if that's your attitude. It is fine. It absolutely, it doesn't affect my portfolio in any way, shape, or form. So I say this from love, right? I'm trying to help you at the end of the day. Understand the way this market works. If you don't have the patience, then just go. Just leave the market. But do yourself a favor. Do not come back when things start going parabolic because you will be one of those people buying the top and you will be exit liquidity for me and for our entire community who's going to be taking profits at the top because we spent our time, we put our time in, right? We were patient, we accumulated, we waited, we accumulated, we waited, we accumulated. And then we reaped the rewards for all of that, right? If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And there would be no millionaires being made from crypto, right? So you have to be thankful for those people, guys, if you're not one of them. Because, again, they are your exit liquidity, right? We need them to be who they are at the end of the day. Because, again, for every seller, there has to be a buyer. So if I'm dumping my bags at the top, there's got to be a bunch of fools who were not patient enough to wait it out. And who are buying my bags at the top, right? That's how it works. It sucks. It sucks that we all can't win, but it is a real or it is a reality of the of the uh, of the market. No different than stocks. No different than stocks. It's not unique to crypto, right? So, I put this to you guys to try to give you a splash of cold water, right? To change your outlook, to change your perspective, and to change your attitude. And if you are having such a hard time being patient, stop looking at your portfolio. Stop looking at the market, right? Well, even that, even that, guys. I say that a lot, and I tell you guys to do that because it's an easy way to not let your emotions rule you. But at the same time, I have to say... Maybe that's a bad idea, right? Maybe it's a bad idea because a lot of you guys, a lot of people, the only way to get past and, and, and grow and learn from being consumed by your emotions when it comes to investing is to look your demons in the eye. So maybe you need to go through all of the anxiety and the emotion and stuff like that and hold strong through it to show yourself that you can do it, right? I don't know. Whatever works for you. I'm just trying to show you that you're being manipulated by the market if that's your attitude. And you're doing exactly what all of us who are going to be selling you our crypto on green candles. You're doing exactly what we want you to do. Right? It sucks.
but someone has to be exit liquidity for for everyone else to win right i don't want it to be people in this community i want everyone here to win so just win i don't know click the like and click the subscribe button guys if you need guys also if you need help with that if you need help with your emotions if you need to talk this stuff out when you feel that way right then jump over to the patreon book your one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and i will talk to you one-on-one -on -one about it every single time you start to feel that way right i will show you how the market is manipulating you and to have that have that safety net for you there uh, to prevent you from making these kinds of massive mistakes, jump over to the Patreon, book yourself some one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and let's get you on the right path, guys, right? The link to the Patreon is down below. I'll see you guys later.